So now we know what the gradient is of a line of any function. It says something about the steepness. And we even know how to calculate the gradient when they give us two points where we have said that the difference in the y direction divided by the difference in the x direction is going to give you the gradient. But what do you need to do when they only give you a line and you have to calculate the gradient? Well, you do exactly the same thing as before, so don't worry. So I have a situation here where they give me a line and they ask me what is the gradient of this line. Now even before starting, I'm just having a quick look. Um, what am I expecting as an answer? Well, this line is clearly going down, so my gradient has to be negative. Yeah, because all lines that go down have a negative gradient, while all lines that go up, yeah, so like that, will have a positive gradient. We realize that the gradient of the line is when you are on the line and if you go one step to the right, how many steps do you go up? And that amount of steps is your gradient. In this case, I'm going a negative amount of steps up, uh, hence we have a negative gradient. Now, what do I have to do if I have to calculate the gradient and they just give me a line? Yeah? I have to decide or have to find two coordinates on my line, yeah? nice coordinates which are on an intersection of those squares of my graph paper. For instance, here I have a nice coordinate, yeah, which is the coordinate minus two, one, two, three, four, five. So that coordinate is minus two, five, and I'm checking that to make sure I count it properly. I, I use my fingers. Yeah, I'm a math teacher, I still use my fingers, yeah, so perhaps you should do the same. Minus two, one, one two, three, four, five, fantastic. Let's find another coordinate yeah? and let's use a big piece of the line. Don't work too small, let's move a big piece. Over here, for instance, I have a good coordinate. I have one over here. I'll take this one. And that coordinate is, the x coordinate is two and then one, two, three down. So two minus three, let me check that, two minus three. Now I have two coordinates and I can do the same as I did before. So if I have minus two and five, and the other coordinate is two minus three. So let me write that down here, two minus three. To calculate the gradient, we said that you do the difference in the y direction, and I use the symbol delta, uh, difference, it's a, a Greek letter we use for difference, the difference in the y direction divided by the difference in the x direction. Yeah, but really you can forget that symbol. You can write down difference of, if you like, okay, I'm a little bit lazy. A difference in the y direction, minus three, difference, and eh? minus five. Yeah, so I take a difference from minus three, minus five, over, and then two, minus, minus two. You see, it's really important that you do this calmly. There's no reason to rush, yeah? The difference, so we are subtracting minus three, minus five. That's the y direction. Two minus, minus two, that's the x direction. That is important because minus three, minus five, that's minus eight. And two minus, minus two, that is four. Now let me quickly show you, uh, back to that graph. Um, let me see, let me draw that. Or quickly sketch that uh, right angle triangle then. Uh. There we go. Okay, so they say, or I say, I'm going eight steps down uh, in this interval. Eight steps down, am I right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight down. That's right. And I'm going four steps to the right. And let me see. One, two, three, four. That's right. So that is eight. That is four. So that's my gradient. However, it's a fraction, so we always have to uh, simplify that. Uh, minus eight divided by four is minus two. Now let's relate that to what we were expecting back to the beginning. Yeah, when I was looking at my line in the beginning, I said, well, the line's going down. I'm expecting a negative gradient. And it is negative, so that makes sense. I found two coordinates, yeah, nicely positioned on the intersection of yeah, some of those squares, so I can really read easily. It's two minus three, 
yeah, minus two and five. And then I take the difference in the y direction divided by the difference in the x direction. Yeah, minus three, minus five divided by two minus minus two, yeah, two minus minus two. Okay, my answer is minus two. Let me just quickly check that. Um, that means that if I go one step to the right, yeah, because that is what gradient is all about, I go minus two steps up, which means two steps down, eh? a one, a two, and I'm back on my line. Fantastic. It's correct. I'm confident. Go to the next question. Yo, now it's your turn. All the best.